Hi, hello, hey, Rondax Studios here. Um, so, it is another review. Um, however, not Bionicle. I think I might have mentioned this in my update video, but, um, I was gonna make a review of my Lego guns that I've made. Um, uh, so, one of, or two of them I've made by myself. Well, one's a work in progress, the other I made by myself. And then the third one I made with my friend. Um, so I guess we'll start with this one first. So this, I don't know what you would want to call it, maybe an M1911, I, I don't know. Um, it's a, it's a, it's a pistol sidearm thing. Um, but yeah, I'm just rolling up my sleeves so I can, you know, hold better. Um, marker on my hands and stuff. But, uh, yeah, so this is it. This is pretty cool. Pretty neat. Um, so, my friend pretty much made this whole function area, including this top part of the handle, um, and a lot of this thing. <clears throat> and then I did this part of the handle, the mag, um, the front here, this little piece I did, uh, and then all the detailing. So like this little thing, I don't know, it's just random. The this thing, these little bits here and there. I did uh, did these, like the parts for the grip, um, the iron, the iron sights, uh, this whole little fancy area. Um, but yeah, so. He did the whole function, as you can kind of see in here, um, there's like a rubber band that moves with this, that's connected to something else, so it, that's the function for the trigger. Um, I want to add a safety, but I'm not that good with like Lego functions as he is. Um, his link, the link to his YouTube channel will be in the description, he is Antarctic Fiber Films. Um, he does some stop motion stuff. He hasn't uploaded in a while, uh, he, but he's really good at stop motion, way better than I am. Uh, so check out his channel. I'll put the link in the description. Um, but yeah, so shout out to Anarch Fiverr Films for helping me make, make this. Um, but yeah, so uh, it fits pretty well in, in your hand. Um, working trigger, you pull out the magazine, um, and stick it back in. Ah, they broke. Um, that has never happened before. That's cool. But, like, you just pull it out and put it back in. Pew, 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 pew. Uh, I'm just gonna kind of get you so you can see down the sights. There you go. Yeah. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty cool. Um, I'm really happy how this came out. Uh, I used to have a suppressor for it, but I didn't really like how it looked. Um, uh, yeah. Pretty neat. I like this thing. All right. Next gun. This gun is kind of... This was in my channel intro. Uh, it's kind of like the bi the Lego version of this. Kind of? Not really. The colors are horribly off. But, like, it's the same gun. So this is... The gun name is Bloodbreaker. And so I named this bigger gun Bloodbreaker as well. Um, Rondax's Pistol. Uh, so. <clears throat> Alright, this I made by myself. It pretty much took me about all, like, a whole day to make. Because I was, I woke up, I think I watched TV, and then I pretty much just made this the whole time. Um, like, it, I stopped for meals. That's pretty much it. Alright, so this is Bloodbreaker. Uh, the color scheme is so off, I just tried to keep it to, uh, white, maroon, and gray, and black. Um, kind of inspired by a Destiny hand cannon. Uh, I'm just gonna aim the camera down and stuff. Um, so yeah, it, it's pretty cool. Um, it's very, very fragile. Uh, I cannot pull the trigger because this little thingy here will pop off. Yeah, see, it's already wiggling. Um, this does have a good, a good amount of functions, as you can kind of see this. The little 
down is because this pops out and there's a little a few technic pieces. No, it broke. Yeah, super fragile. And then there's this in there. Uh, just load it back in and then yeah, pop closed. But then there's like those things on the handle. <coughs> um, the hammer moves. Oh, I drew that on my wrist. I'm kind of an artist, actually. Yes, very much an artist. Um, I drew that at Rondax. That's pretty cool. There are a few off things. The proportions are horrible, but uh, like his thighs should be much different, and then his waist is not that thin. Um, yeah, but overall, it's it's pretty good. I'm proud of it. Back to the hand cannon. So, so yeah, it's got this fancy rail. Um, these can pop off. I think the hardest thing with making this one was the handle, actually. So, finding those slanted pieces is really hard, um, for some reason. Uh, making the barrel work was pretty tough, too. And then, making this whole rail was tough. Other than that, it was pretty simple. Um... Yeah, I, another, actually, another challenge I faced was trying to, like, get it to, like, fit in my hand without breaking apart, okay? Like, it fits in my hand. Like, I can aim it. it I feel like it's gonna break apart. But, oh, it just did. <laughs> um, but you really, like, I like holding it with two hands, and I almost, I like doing it with this, too. It's like, I've, I, I would, like, when I had, like, a version of it, I would go over to my bed and hold it above my bed. And if it broke, I would go back to the table. If not, I would see what else I could improve. Um, because I wanted to be, I wanted it to be able to be held with one hand straight. And I can't. So, <clears throat> it just, re it was really hard, kind of, uh, getting it to be held in one hand. So, I can kind of adjust... So it's like that. There you go. You can see the whole thing now. So yeah, blood breaker. All right. The next one is a work in progress. So this is the front. This is the whole rail barrel thingy. Um, definitely not finished. I still have to do a lot of this and a lot of this. Um, and the hammer works too. It's actually, this is actually really cool looking. I love how this looks. However, this is the hard part. The handle. So the handle, I, and I just literally just fell apart in my hand. Um, the handle, I, I can't have it, like, I need to add a, um, <clears throat> I need to add a trigger, but this is what it looks like. But literally, if I hold it like this, it will literally break off. Look. Yeah, literally just pops off. And I wasn't even pulling it, it just broke off. So, I need to kind of figure out a way to... Yeah. 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 Perfect. Okay. I did. Yay. So, I need to figure out a way to um make it work. And have it stick on there so I can hold it freely. Um, Overall, it's a pretty cool hand cannon. I feel like I need to beef up the, the grip. Um... Let's see if I can get it in a full shot. Move my camera back. Perfect! There it is! Uh, work in progress. It's not really finished. I just figured I'd put it on here because it's the Lego gun and stuff. Um, I just thought it was kind of cool. Not really related to any other bionicle weapons that I have. Um, yeah, I just I just thought it was neat uh, to make. I just wanted to like, like see what I could do and making a hand cannon without any specific reference. Uh, like in Rondax's review, that other hand cannon, Bloodbreaker, was based off of the Ace of Spades in Destiny, which, check out my Rondax reviews part one. It's in there. Maybe part two, but I'm pretty sure it's part one. Um, where, it, like, a picture comes up on screen of uh, the Ace of Spades from Destiny. Ah, the camera fell. Um, yeah. So it's... Fall again. Ah, it fell again. Goodness. <laughs> I 
can't tell if it's tilted or not. Um, I think it's gonna fall. Perfect. Okay, here we go. So, uh, yeah, it's inspired by the Aces Bay. It's just the overall design glow breaker. But this was inspired by a gun, but I wasn't, like, looking up the image and, like, looking at it. I was just kind of, like, seeing what I could do. Uh, I'm not gonna put the effort into having the cylinder pop out. I just kind of wanted to make a hand cannon as easy and efficient as I could. Um, and it, it, it's, it's going good so far. I just have to finish it. Um, <sighs> Uh, I don't think I have any other, like, Lego, like, system guns. Uh, oh, I think, yeah, alright, that is it for this video. Uh, I figured I'd get this out to you guys, because it's a cool, um, thing, so, uh, alright, yeah, uh, that is it for tonight. I hope you guys have a great rest of the evening. And I will see you in the next one. Farewell.